Five months ago, Delphia and Norman's infant son was rushed to the hospital after being violently shaken. The child is currently 10 months old, and this abuse has left him in a coma. A suspect has been charged with this crime, but Norman and his sister Tiffany are convinced that the police have the wrong person. They say that Delphia never wanted this child and believe that she is the one who shook her baby. Um, Dan Rebikoff, our lie detector examiner, he administered a new test that is, um, that I guess that he just learned how to do. Uh, we're going to bring Dan out so he can explain that, and then we're going to get to the results. Let's out bring out Dan Rebikoff. Yeah. Hey there, Dan. Uh, you're here for the tough stories. This is a, a, a tough Very story. Tough story. Um, and, and to me, it's not so much of a case. I, I, I'm going to say, if she picked up the baby herself and shook it, uh, I'll be a little surprised. Only because the police didn't get involved in this case. Sure. They did an investigation. She was at work. They determined. Um, but to me, this is a really sad case of a little boy being failed by many people. Not one, but, you know, all parties involved here. I agree. Uh, I agree. But you administered a new test that you're going to explain. Sure, Steve. It's a test that I haven't used here often. Um, it is relatively new when it comes to polygraph techniques, but not brand new. What it's called is called an evidence statement polygraph. And what I do is I take the emotional words out of it. So we use it a lot with rape victims, um, people who are being accused of you know, injuring a child who have been through traumatic experiences. And really the accuracy of the polygraph comes in the examiner selecting the proper test for the situation and for the examinee. So every test is not proper for everyone. So in evaluating um, Delphia when we were speaking, I said, you know what, I really don't want to ask her the emotional question of injuring the baby and causing the brain injury. So what I did was I had an evidence statement, which is a piece of paper, and I go, evidence statement. Regarding your child, did you cause those injuries? She answered, no. I then test her. Regarding your evidence statement, did you answer that question truthfully? And variations of that question. So that's the way we administered the test so that we wouldn't invoke an emotional response from her and get a very accurate polygraph. Thank you, Dan. Thank you. Thank you.